This new feature 2024 tutorial video will teach you how to save an event trigger template. You can use the event trigger to show your logo when opening a cache file. So the objective of this tutorial video is to create a custom dialog with a logo and save it as a template. And the second is to reuse the template in a new project. First is to open Fuser without a cache file, then close the Fuser project panel, go to more options and search for event trigger. Then here in the trigger menu, click the drop down and select dialogs. Then click this camera icon to add an image, then click this icon. Then here I have the Fuser logo saved in my folder. I'll select this, click open, then click create. You can also resize it by clicking on the logo and dragging the sides. Next step, click Create here to create a trigger entry. Click the trigger entry 1 and the event type. Click the drop down menu and select initial load event. And action type is toggle custom dialog. For custom dialog, select the custom dialog 1 and dialog state is true. Then click the red button to enable it. And lastly, click Test Actions. Now we can save this as a cache file. Click the Fuser project panel. Then click Save or Save As. Click Yes. We can rename it as New Project. Click Save. Then for the second objective, let's reuse this template. So double click to open the cache file. Next step, in the Fuser project panel, click Load to load a cache file. Once it's loaded, click the Fuser project panel, click Save As, then we can rename it to New Project with Template. Now we can close this first, and here when you open the New Project with Template, the Fuser logo will appear. Thank you for watching the video.